Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breast, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2410, Prebiotics and Probiotics, What You Need to Know, by Cassandra Bendall, with idealnutrition.com.au. And I'm Dr. Neil, your very own personal narrator. Hey there, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and more, just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors and always with permission from the sites, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now, today is Wednesday, and like I do every Wednesday, I like to share an inspirational quote with you. So with that, here we go. Quote, We change the world not by what we say or do, but as a consequence of what we become. David Hawkins. All right, now that we're in the right frame of mind, let's get to today's post as we optimize your life. Prebiotics and Probiotics, What You Need to Know by Cassandra Bendel with idealnutrition.com.au Did you know that we have 100 trillion bacteria living in our gut? While that may leave you feeling a little squeamish, don't fear. These little guys are on our side. They play important roles in many metabolic, nutritional, physiological, and immunological processes which keep us healthy. This includes acting as a barrier to prevent bad bacteria from invading and causing illness and producing nutrients that we can't make ourselves, like vitamin K, vitamin B12, folic acid, and short-chain fatty acids. There is more and more evidence that suggests incorporating prebiotics and probiotics into our diet is beneficial for keeping a healthy balance of good gut bacteria. You've probably heard the terms prebiotics and probiotics thrown around, But what are they actually, and what's the difference between the two? What's the difference between prebiotics and probiotics? First, probiotics. Probiotics are live microorganisms found in bacteria, yeast, or fungi. Probiotics are live microorganisms like bacteria or yeast found in certain foods, which when consumed in adequate amounts, are beneficial to our bodies. Common probiotics include the genera lactobacillus, and bifidobacterium. In addition to encouraging the growth of our own good bacteria, probiotics have been shown to increase our resistance to the common cold, decrease the risk of antibiotic-associated diarrhea, and may potentially prevent the development of allergies. Evidence connecting conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, and obesity with an unbalanced good-to-bad bacteria ratio in the gut, also known as dysbiosis, and how the use of probiotics may be of value, is still under exploration. Not all foods which rely on the fermentation process of bacteria or yeast, such as bread, are considered probiotics. The good bacteria in these foods don't always survive during food processing and exposure to oxygen, pH levels, and heat. They also have to combat our digestive enzymes and acidic stomach juices before reaching our intestines, where they can grow and replenish the healthy bacteria already there. Foods which may contain probiotics include yogurt, fermented milk products like kefir, buttermilk, and jacult, fermented vegetables such as sauerkraut, pickles, and kimchi, tempeh, and miso seasoning. Foods that contain added probiotics should state so on the product packaging, including the name of the strain of bacteria, the viable quantity, and whether the product has been clinically tested. Prebiotics A prebiotic is a type of fiber found in certain foods which promotes the growth and activity of good bacteria in the gut. When consumed, prebiotics pass undigested through the stomach and small intestine until they reach the large intestine, where they become food for the good bacteria living there. Additional benefits of this fiber are only just emerging. Prebiotics may be associated with increased mineral absorption and improved blood glucose levels. A wide range of foods are naturally high in prebiotics, like 
Vegetables like green peas, snow peas, corn, onion, leeks, asparagus, spring onion, and beetroot. Garlic is also really high in prebiotics. As far as fruits are concerned, banana, watermelon, nectarines, white peaches, pomegranate, and most dried fruits are high in prebiotics. Legumes such as chickpeas, baked beans, red kidney beans, and lentils. Cereals like couscous, gnocchi, pasta, and rye bread or crackers, barley, oats, wheat, and soybeans. And nuts like cashews and pistachio nuts are all high in prebiotics. Keeping your digestive system happy is a foundation for good health. Try to include a variety of probiotic and prebiotic foods during the week as part of a balanced diet. Your gut will thank you. Now please note, if you have been diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome and are currently following a low FODMAP diet, prebiotic foods do include fructooligosaccharides and galactooligosaccharides, which are not recommended until the reintroduction phase. But in summary, a simple way of thinking of this is probiotics are the beneficial bacteria. Prebiotics are the food for that beneficial bacteria. How do they affect our health? Gut health is becoming more and more pivotal in the world of nutrition. Everybody is talking about the gut microbiota, which is the collection of microorganisms in an environment. And these microorganisms include bacteria, virus, and fungi. There are numerous benefits of probiotics and prebiotics when effectively incorporated into the diet. The inclusion of probiotics in the diet can help protect against pathogens, toxins, infections, and help protect our gut lining, as well as helping to aid in the absorption of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin B12, iron, and magnesium. Including more probiotics in our diets can assist with intestinal motility, bile creation and gastric secretion, and immune function. On the other hand, Prebiotics can improve our digestion, increase absorption of nutrients, and increase our immune strength. They can even potentially aid in the management of our weight. They also help to stimulate the growth and survival of good bacteria and discourage the growth of harmful organisms. The importance of prebiotics and probiotics in our diets is astounding. It seems these microorganisms, albeit tiny, pack a nutritional punch. What happens if we don't get enough prebiotics and probiotics? If our diets are lacking in prebiotics and probiotics, pathogenic bacteria can begin to overgrow in our large intestine. This leads to poor digestion, amongst other things. As a result, this can cause bloating, flatulence, constipation, diarrhea, inflammation, damage to our gut lining, and other issues. It's important we look after our digestive system. It's responsible for removing waste from our bodies and for the breakdown of nutrients the body needs for energy. Also, our digestive system contributes to our body's immune system, which helps defend against pathogens and harmful bacteria. What are some foods that are rich in prebiotics and probiotics? Probiotic-rich foods include yogurt, kefir, kombucha, miso, and sauerkraut. Prebiotic-rich foods are typically high in fiber, and some examples include bananas, soybeans, Jerusalem artichokes, oats, berries, garlic, onion, legumes, tomatoes, and green vegetables. Probiotic supplements. Using food sources of probiotics first should typically be encouraged. You also need to cultivate an environment for these good bacteria to survive and thrive anyway. This is where eating a wide variety of prebiotic foods becomes so necessary. There are clearly benefits for probiotic supplements under certain circumstances though. Some examples of this include helping to manage irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, improved immunity in athletes during overtraining phases, potential to improve recovery from training, and it could help in the management of inflammatory bowel disease, like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. There are so many more potential benefits of probiotic supplementation. The big thing to be aware of is that individual strains and supplements are typically beneficial for different goals. Unfortunately, There is no coverall supplement that's beneficial for all conditions, so it's important to consider strain specificity. Side effects are rare, but they do occur. These include a small risk of gastrointestinal upset, amines in some products triggering headaches in those who are sensitive to them, issues in those with a histamine intolerance for products containing histamine, 
and bacteria or yeasts in probiotics could enter the bloodstream and cause infections in those that are susceptible. Take-home message. Keeping our gut bacteria happy and healthy is important for many aspects of health and well-being. To do this, we need to include plenty of prebiotic and probiotic foods. These will help promote an ideal balance between good and bad gut bacteria. Next time you're walking down the supermarket aisle, consider adding some more prebiotic and probiotic-rich foods to your shopping cart. Your gut will thank you for it. You just listened to the post titled Prebiotics and Probiotics, What You Need to Know by Cassandra Bendall with idealnutrition.com.au and I'll be right back with my commentary. Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breasts, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. If I were to ask you to name four classic Christmas movies, Could you answer in under 15 seconds? If the answer is yes, then you need to play Trivia Star. Trivia Star is a free mobile game with over 60 different categories to choose from, including music, TV, sports, and more. Plus, right now for the holiday season, enjoy limited time categories like Christmas movies and holiday songs. Play any time from your smartphone and expand your knowledge. And right now, Trivia Star is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play, which come in handy if you get stuck on hard questions. I've sure enjoyed the extra points and gems because sometimes you need them, and trust me, the last thing you want is to stop playing. Trivia Star has thousands of five-star reviews in the App Store and is the number one trivia game on iPhone. Download it today to test yourself with over 10,000 trivia questions. Just go to the Apple or Google Store and search for Trivia Star. Download Trivia Star for free and train your brain today. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. As today's author Cassandra mentioned, we can supplement with probiotics, meaning we can buy products that contain these beneficial bacteria. The trouble is, as with any supplement, quality and purity is an issue. But when it comes to supplementing with probiotics, there is another catch. We have to make sure that there are enough of these good bacteria in the supplement so that they survive the trip to the small and large intestines. Because after all, that's where they do the most good. So the goal is to find a probiotic that provides at least 1 billion active cells. And again, because different strains of probiotics have different health effects, you would of course want to discuss this with your doctor before taking any probiotics, just in case. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for being a subscriber or follower of the show. Thank you for sharing this show with others. That really goes a long way to keep this podcast going. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.